Hi guys and welcome back to um, WinCC tutorial uh, for Siemens S7. Um, this is part two and what we're going to do is just quickly look at the communications. Okay, um, It's quite a simple uh, uh, thing is this at the moment so uh, all of the videos are going to be quite short uh, just so that you can look at the objects individually and we can do one at a time rather than trying to overload um, you with too much information on one uh, video. Okay, um, just to uh, go back on what we did, we opened up an empty project on the last video, on the introduction. Um, what I've done is I've saved as and I've just saved it in my YouTube videos and uh, named it YouTube WinCC HMI project. Okay, we'll save that. Uh, do we want to overwrite it? Yes, okay. So now we've got a, a save project and uh, uh, we're in no danger of losing it. Okay, what we're going to do first is um, we're just going to go to the communications, which you will find here on the left hand side. Um, and we'll go to connections. Double click your connections and you will then be presented with this window. Now this is empty because we didn't go through the wizard. Uh, we just opened up an empty project uh, rather than going through the wizard. If you go through the wizard this will all be done for you. Um, I'm just showing you the, the, the longer way of going around it. So for starters it's it's not very difficult it's as simple as just double click into this first line and it will add one connection line into you now mine comes up as connection 3 because it's uh, I've had another couple of connections in there um, and I deleted them so it's picked up the next available connection um, and I can actually edit that I can put the one in there if I wanted to okay so what we've done is we've got a connection uh, it's picked up the fact that we are doing a, a 300 400 you can choose uh, from a selection Alan Bradley, Mitsubishi's, Omron's or Somatics uh, whether it's 200's or S5's uh, in our case it's a 300 so it's defaulted to a 300 and of course whether we want it online or offline um, we've got it on one let's just close that down because it's an awful big thing there and we'll open that up and you can put a comment in there just to say this is win uh, cc project for uh let's say youtube okay just a quick comment of what that's about obviously you can have more HMIs connected to your system so uh, you know you may just want to put a little comment in there to say what the connection is or what the type is whatever you like okay at the bottom here of the screen you'll see that it's picked up that we had already selected a 677 19 inch touch screen and it's defaulted with an MPI or DP um, that's fine we can leave it at that if you select the Ethernet then of course you have to give the address that you want for the touch screen and you also have to give the address of your somatic station so you'll need the uh, somatic net uh, module connected to your PLC okay I'll be honest we use uh, the somatic net quite a lot but for this instance we'll just use the DPI as, uh, here so uh, the settings as well you need to set up the board rate so if you're using MPI it's going to be uh, 187 kilobytes uh, the address you need to set up the address of that screen and the address of the station now uh, any of you cast your minds back or if you haven't seen the Siemens uh, S7 manager uh, videos that I made for the S7300 in some of the early videos I actually made mention that the PLC will come up as a default address as 2 and it comes up as a default address as 2 on the MPI and on the DP as well uh, Siemens always defaults that to 2 because and I said at the time on that video that HMIs will normally be 1 
and your PC, your laptop or your computer that's connected to the system, uh, you will set up as address zero. So that is kind of your master on the system. So laptops and uh, connection devices such as laptops or desktops etc are default to zero address. MPI uh, for or DP for address on the HMI will default to one and all of your PLCs default to two. And then what that does is it allows you to then use three, four, five and upwards for any external devices such as DP couplers or I don't know um, uh, anything like inverters or anything else that you might be using at the time. Okay, the network uh, profile here is MPI, DP, standard or universal. Click to DP, uh, you can then select a higher rate. You've got still your address as one and still the address under the PLC as two and number of masters is one. So we'll just go back to what we had. I feel that it's not of huge importance to try and create the fastest connection for an HMI. An HMI is, at the end of the day, uh, used by the operators of the equipment. And it's never normally needed that it has to react very, very fast. So I tend to keep things on uh, the low speed for HMIs, um, so connecting it to an M MPI is fine. I don't see any uh, uh, real benefit of connect uh, connecting it to the Profibus, although if you all you want is a Profibus network and not an MPI network, then you may want to do that. But I don't think there's any advantage speed-wise of doing that. So, going back to this, we've now set up We've set it up as online, which is our access point. Um, we've got it under somatic, we've set the address, and we've set the board rate. We've chosen the profile of the network to be MPI. Um, this is only uh, for searching purposes when it's initially connected. It will only go as high as an address that you want to check to see if there's anything else on the line. And we've set our, and we've got our station, which is set up to the address of two. If you have changed the address in the PLC to something different other than two, then obviously that needs to be the same as your PLC. Okay, so we'll just save it, and there we go. There's our connection done. All right. So I hope that was helpful, and we will we'll start on the next video by uh, looking at the screens and how to add. Um, components to your screens and add more screens as necessary. Alright, uh, if you like the video, I'd uh, love for you to uh, subscribe and uh, any comments please leave, uh, uh, please leave them on the, uh, on the site and uh, I look forward to uh, the next, uh, next installment <laughs> of this WinC 